What's up guys, it's Living Survival and today we're going to have a fish fry, so stick with me. So today I'm going to be using my 180 tack original stove and uh, my little Bayou Classic Dutch oven here. I'm going to heat up some oil and we're going to fry up some, uh, some Canadian perch that I got, some wild caught Canadian perch. So the reason I'm going with the 180 tack stove is uh, even though I was going to use like the firebox or the bush box because those get really hot and they are stable enough I just want to have the most surface area of heat to evenly heat the oil up uh, and maintain that temperature so we're going to give it a try with the uh, 180 tack stove since it does have a little bit of a wider uh, profile for the for the Dutch oven and it really pairs pretty perfectly with uh, with this Dutch oven that I got, as you'll see here in a minute. Set that right on there, then we'll just pop these trivets in. And this is still one of my all-time favorite stoves. As you can see here, there's a nice big space here for uh, for putting wood in, and then it's going to give a lot of coverage to the bottom of this uh, this Dutch oven. So I, I should be able to keep it nice and hot, and uh, cook that. Hopefully, cook that fish and that oil pretty well. All right, so what we got for our fish fry today is some nice wild caught Canadian perch. And uh, I'm gonna go bread that up. I'm just gonna basically put it in this bag and shake it up. And uh, we're gonna get this fire going nice and hot. And get some oil going in our pot here. Pour in some vegetable oil. About halfway there. Let that get nice and hot. So I've definitely fried things like in a frying pan over a uh, bio stove fire, but I've never actually tried to heat oil to deep fry something. So it should be pretty interesting to see if I'm able to get it hot enough. To, uh, to do that. Alright, so I've had this fire going for about uh, maybe 8-10 minutes and uh, we're starting to get some some bubbling in there and things like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of batter in there and we're gonna see yeah it should be ready if it bubbles up like that it should be nice and hot so go ahead and throw one of these smaller fillets in here And uh, looks like we're just getting up to temperature there. That didn't take long at all, so the 180 tech can definitely handle it. That took maybe eight minutes to get it up to that temperature. We'll just throw our breaded uh, perch in there. 
And usually by the time it floats, it's done. It won't take very long. And I think these are probably about done. Yeah, look at those. So that was about three or four minutes or so. Go ahead and throw a couple of these bigger ones in there. And you can see I gotta get my temperature back up here. Stoke that fire a little bit. You can see that this 180 tack stove is absolutely perfect with this Dutch oven. So I really like to pair my stoves with the appropriate, you know, pot or a cup or pan or whatever. And uh, you can see that this pairs up perfectly. Definitely no problem heating oil and keeping it hot. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this quick video on frying up some perch fillets and uh, using the 180 tack stove with the uh, two quart cast iron. Perfect match and uh, heated up the oil perfectly so I had my concerns that it would get hot enough but it definitely got hot enough and stayed hot enough and we got some uh, nicely fried up fish. Definitely got to use some sriracha sauce and uh, I'm going to go ahead and eat. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. And as always, guys, subscribe for more videos. Really thought I was going to leave without taking a bite for you. I didn't think I have to say anything.